Shalom, giving all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha HaKadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Israelites. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, the savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And the Racha HaKadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of truth. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth from. And peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect. All right, so i just uh, back again with this uh, other article, all right, um, from Zero Hedge, entitled, Police, uh, Riot Police Storm Paris Bar Over No Social Distancing. Okay, and this is just our, this article, which I'm going to play a video as well. Um, just goes to show, you know, the the, the uh, draconian, you know, measures, the police state, the 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 way society, all right, is, is, is basically being formed right now, okay, the quote unquote new normal is to expect these these riot police to come through at a at your local bar <laughs> and beat the hell up out of you if you're not uh practicing what they deem social distancing. All right, and there's another uh, a video as well, which I believe this happened in the UK, if I'm not mistaken, I'll show you that video too, where you had a COVID police just beat the hell the woman, or, you know, beat the hell out of the two women you know, because they didn't have their mask over their faces, you know, and this, like I said, man, this is, this is just the, the mindset of what, what society, what life is like right now, man, because what they're trying to do is just present a, uh, a uh, mentality of basically a, a, a global police state, all right, martial law all across the world, man. And if you don't comply to a T, all right, with what they say, all right, your 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 you know individuality, your your whatever you feel is necessary, or whatever you think health your health is deemed to be to you, they, they don't matter, man. Got to line exactly up with what these uh, governments are saying. So it says footage out of police, and then this came out yesterday. All right, actually it came out today, uh, eight twenty five two thousand and twenty. It says footage out of Paris, France shows riot police storming a bar and beating people with tranches because they were not properly social distancing, all right? So now, they these are, once again, these are uh, federal federal agents, and they have the authority to come into a bar and beat the hell up out of you if they don't see, or they don't, uh, if you're not social distancing, social distancing to their liking, all right? And this also goes to show you why, you know, it's not, it won't be, it's not wise to be in, you know, in these scenes as much, man. All right, in the times that we're in right now, it's uh, it, it would be it would behoove you to be uh, uh, circumspect about you know where you're going and how you're moving because this devil, as the scripture tells you in the book of First uh, Peter, that this devil is like a, a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. All right, and and we already had it over there in Portland, Oregon, here in Babylon, where they was uh, over there in Oregon, where they had you know federal agents that weren't um, identified that were going around in uh, vans and just grabbing people and just taking them away, you know. So this is all just you know uh, uh, all a part of the um, this whole uh, draconian laws B system, all right, martial law that this devil is implementing in the form of his quote unquote new normal, all right, going to a bar and, and having a drink, going to a packed bar. It's not it's not something you could do anymore, man. And that's a lot of things. That's and understand that that's a, what a lot of people love to do. Okay, they love to party and BS. They love to go to these bars and you know be packed in these bars and then meet people and all this. That's a that that's what especially here in Babylon. That's what Babylon was all about, man. Partying, partying it up. So it says the incident occurred during the Champions League final between Paris Saint Germain and Bayern uh, Munich which the uh, bar goers were watching on television, you know, so something, you know, like a regular, see, the thing is, these people thinking that things can get back to normal. They're trying to make things go back to post uh, pre pre COVID. But this devil, he used this, this whole pandemic for a means and a guise to present what he ultimately wanted to do, which is what present this new war order. All right. Police state. You see, because people mentality they're thinking that they can just go back to how things were, all right? Because bars are opening up again. So, hey, we can just go to a bar and pack it out. Nah, <laughs> nope. 
they gonna have these niggas and these these federal agents gonna go up in there and beat the hell out of you, man. It says around a dozen fully kitted uh, out riot cops raided the bar and violently removed people from the premises. It says um, more than two hundred people received a police caution for not wearing face masks. The incident is made even more bizarre by the fact that the people inside the bar were behaving peacefully while the actual riots while actual riots were taking place across the rest of the city. According to RT, the streets of the French capital descended into chaos with multiple incidences of vandalism and looting. It says you think maintaining basic law and order while protecting people and property from violent criminals would be a higher priority than ensuring people in a bar uh in a bar are standing far behind are standing far enough away from each other but in an age of covid hysteria apparently not all right so let's play this video so this is the bar that people was in you see let me close that it's the bar that people was in. They was watching the, the game, all right? <laughs> Obviously, uh, uh, no, but now people are not wearing masks, but that's people are trying to go back. They're trying to, you, you talk to people on a regular day to day. Everybody always saying, I hope things can go back to normal. I hope things can go back to normal. I can't wait for things to go back to normal. So people are trying to, trying to force this normalization of pre COVID, you know, pre pandemic. But once again, that's not going to happen, all right? It's not going. You're not going back to how things work, all right. Esau has set in motion this, 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 this. Uh, use this pandemic to set set in motion his agenda, and this devil for damn sure is not going to go back and and and, and go back to how things were, man. Because ultimately, their plan is to do what is to is to bring in this new world order, this RFID chip, this police state, this uh uh you know being able to uh uh you know uh uh what's the word i'm looking for being able to um basically control what everybody is doing and seeing what everybody is is doing you know for lack of a better word the the, the word i'm looking for is escaping me right now but they want they want to monitor everybody's movements they want to control what everybody is doing so you doing this having this you know thing you having this liberty to go out and go to a bar nah that's that's out the window and and they're about to show you that right now Thank <laughs> you. 
So there you go, man. That's uh, that's Paris. You know the the great what they call Paris. That's the city of love. <laughs> well, there is no love being shown then. All right, and the word I was looking for earlier was surveillance. They want to surveillance, you know, people's every move, you know. But going back to the video, man, you see how you know people were in there. They would think they were gonna have a good time, have a nice, you know, nice outing and laughing, laughing and playing. And then guess what? Sudden destruction hit their ass, man. They didn't think they was going to be getting beat with uh, batons uh, 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 later in that day. You know, but this is what the scripture tells you. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. You know, that was foolish for them to be, you know, packed up in there with no mask. Okay. Uh, uh, trying trying to live some some pre-pandemic uh, life where that shit's out the window. All right, so that's why the, the believers, the ones who got the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of how Bashim Yahushua, we're going to walk circumspectly. You're not going to catch. You shouldn't. If you're a man and woman of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, you shouldn't be in places that are packed like that and, 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 and knowing that, you know, this could happen. All right, you might want to go get a drink. You go to, you know, some outside dining, whatever, go get a drink, whatever, with a, with a buddy or with your, with your wife or with your husband, whatever, and call it a day, man. But being packed in a, in a club and trying to go to these clubs and try to go to these bars like this, look, man, this devil is out here, man. All right, especially it goes even twofold for you Israelites. All right, because if they're willing to do that to these, you know, it looked like it was a lot of different heathens in there. Could have been some jakes as well. But if they're willing to do that to anybody, understand that they're willing to do it even worse and to you Israelites, man. All right, so it says, not as fools, but as wise. So don't be foolish. You being foolish, you're going to lead to your destruction, man. All right, it says redeeming the time because the days are evil. All right, so redeeming the time for the days because the days are evil. Being circumspect, being wise, being watch, being a watchman. All right, knowing what time it is, you should be conducting yourselves in such manner. All right, because as as we just see, man, your your sudden your peace and safety will be turned to sudden destruction, just like that. Like I said, these people did not think that they were going to be getting beat in in uh, with batons, you know, twenty five minutes earlier. Put it like that. 15 minutes earlier. They, that was not on their mind, man. Okay, verse 17. It says, Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Okay? So don't be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is, man. Because wisdom brings forth into salvation. The scripture tells you that wisdom brings forth into a kingdom. So you you being unwise, it's going to only affect you. It's only going to put you in a, in a worse predicament, man. All right, you got to understand, be circumspect, use spiritual discernment on your movement, especially in these times right now, man. Uh, St. John chapter 12, verse 35. Then Yahweh Shah said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light, lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. All right, so the light is who? Yahweh Shah. Uh, you know, Yahweh Shah is something with us, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, the Holy Spirit. We got to walk with that, man. All right. That's why being in this truth and maintaining, you know, asking the Lord to keep that keep that uh, uh, spirit of uh, the Holy Spirit upon you is the number one greatest necessity in order to endure to the end, man. Because these people out in this world, they're in darkness and they don't know where they're going. They're just looking to fulfill the lust of the flesh. They're just looking to 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 party, to BS, to to to, like I said, fulfill the lust of the flesh, not understanding what time it is, not understanding that we're in evil days. OK, this is uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, see, you got to know the time. You got to know what time it is, man. If you know what time it is, if you know that you got an appointment at five o'clock and it's 445, what are you going to do? You're going to be pressing towards getting 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 to that appointment on time. If you know the trains, the, you know, the, the train leaves at 515 and you at home and it's five 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 four five. You wasn't knowing the time, man. You're not gonna make that. You're not gonna make that train. But a pro, a prudent a prudent person, a wise person, they're going to plan accordingly, man. They're going to order their steps accordingly so that they can be uh, uh be on that train, you know, be at the train station, you know, at, at at the correct time, so that they can so that they don't miss the mark. 
All right. So speaking spiritually, you got to know what time it is. That's why the uh, the angel told Ezra to measure measure thou the time diligently in itself, knowing that this ain't the time for this, man. It ain't the time to be going to packed out bars. Okay. It ain't the time to be uh, 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 engaging in foolishness, man, and banqueting and rioting. All right. Um, it says, now that it is high time to awake out of sleep, because these people are asleep. They still think that they can go back to 2019. <laughs> they think that they can go back to, to a time before this devil is, is moving uh, moving to, towards his agenda. No, man, it is high time to wake out of sleep. Now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Yeah, the night, meaning this darkness, the, the time of, of just being in, in gross darkness, is, is far spent, man. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Let us put on the arm of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting or in drunkenness, not in chambering or in wantonness, not in striving, strife or in, or in envy. Okay? But put but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, and make not provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Making provisions for the flesh, meaning putting your flesh before, you know, uh, fulfill, fulfilling the lust of the flesh, making that your priority, man. Don't do that. Because all that's going to do is just lead you into, A, getting your ass beat. And, and as times go, goes worse and worse, getting, you know, concentration camps, uh, the FEMA camps, getting the mark of the beast, man. All right? But this 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 exhortation is to the elect, man, because we as being the part of the hopeful elect watching, okay, taking heed unto ourselves, we know that these are, are examples for us so that to know that what we should not be doing in these days. All right. Uh first Corinthians seven verse twenty nine. And I say, brethren, the time is short. Remain it remaineth that both they that have wise be as though they have none. And they that weep as though they weep not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as they as though that as though they possess not, and that they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashions of this world passeth the way. Okay, because what going to a bar, going to a packed out bar, watching, you know, a game is a fashion that this world is used to. All right, we have we're coming up into you know football season where. You know, a lot of people, you know, they go to bars to watch the games. But guess what? Social distancing is still in effect, man. Wearing masks inside is still in effect. <laughs> so you doing that, thinking that, oh, I don't know what the hell with it. I ain't going to wear a mask, blah, blah, blah. Even though all that shit is BS anyway. All right. But understanding that this devil is using all these things as a ploy to, to entrap you, man. As a ploy to get you. You know, that's why we tell people don't be out there protesting. Don't be out there, you know, marching. Because these, all that is just a, a gimmick, a, a, a crafty device of this devil, man. You know, the, the, the men and women that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you should not be out there engaging in, in, in none of this, you know, foolishness and chambering and, and wantonness, man. Okay? You be a user of the world, not abuser of it. All right, this is, um, yeah, I read that. Yep, uh, and I ended with this. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse, um, Five verse uh, three. It says, "For when they shall say peace and safety, which these people were doing, they were thinking they was having fun, peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. All right, you see, out of nowhere, they came and started whipping ass, man. Started whipping ass. Sudden destruction. <clears throat> sudden destruction came upon them. And understand that these batons going to turn into into guns, man." All right, they gonna start grabbing people and throwing them into into the back of uh, the paddy wagon, and you gonna end up in in, in in some torture chamber, man. Okay, it says um, I shall I shall veil upon a woman with child, but they should not escape. But ye brethren, all right, the hopeful like the church, the ones that are in the body of Hamashiach, are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Why? Because we are upon our watchtowers. We are paying attention. We see what is going on. We have the vision. It says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Be serious minded, man. Stop thinking everything is a fucking game. Excuse my French. Stop thinking that, that this devil is not about to just come down on, on you, man. Stop thinking that, that things can get back to normal. All right. Wake the hell up, man. All right, speaking to you Israelites, man, and you ones that are awake, stay awake, man. Stay watching, stay sober, man. Stay vigilant. 
Because this devil is coming upon you. It's coming down, man. Stay prayed up, man. So, you know, I ended there. Lord willing, it's edifying to the elect. Call Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakai Kodash, Shalom.